Okay, this is just a, a short video to just document uh, the, the latest acquisition here. I saw this on uh, online, and uh, what caught my eye was it's a uh, it's a Sylvania halo light. You figure with all the TVs that we already have, why do we need another one? Well, I don't have don't have I've never seen a halo light up close, so. That's what this is. It was in a house not too far away. Didn't have to drive all over the universe. And uh, it's in pretty good condition. I'll, uh, I'll spin it around and let you have a look at the back of it. Oh, and not knowing anything about these models, uh, I'll just show you, like the Westinghouse, this is the channel indicator uh, tuning here. Um, I don't know what this dial control is. I'll find out soon enough, I'm sure. It could be the halo light. Feels like a mechanical control. And that's the uh, on off volume. I don't know where the brightness and all the controls are though. There's a door here, right? It's the first viewing here, so we'll take a look at the back. The cabinet is, I didn't want to put this out in the garage with the others. The cabinet on this is, is not a, it's shiny, it's, it's not in bad condition at all. Okay, so here's a look at the back. Uh, it appears to have a 10 inch speaker down there. And uh, it's the model 176M with halo light. Zoom in on that for you. And I imagine there was a cover here at one time. Uh, the only thing I noticed is um, the picture tube may be a replacement. I'm not sure. There's the certification that came with it. It says to consult. Read your instruction booklet. Um, this house that this came from was built in 1948. Uh, this TV, I don't know, but I'm going to guess around 1958-ish or so. Um, and there's another tag inside that references uh, an RCA picture tube. We tested the tube, and it, it tested stone dead at first, but after a, a, a couple minutes on 8 volts, uh, and we brought it back down to 6.3. It came right up in the in the green. Not stellar, but yeah, on the uh, B and K uh, 465, about uh, well, I think it read like three or four hundred, which is which wasn't bad. It was coming up. Okay, I've got the back off. I'd also included these rabbit ears, which were on on top of the set, just as it was the day the set was delivered. I just looked up the Sams, and the Sam says one of fifty. Three. So this is this is indeed an old set. It's 52. If the Sam's is one of 53, uh, the Raytheon Unilines over there, the 25U4 low voltage power supply. That's the vertical output there. That's original. I'm not going to power this up in this video. I just want to document uh, what's here. I wanted to see if the tube is in fact an RCA replacement. I can't uh, have to wipe that off because I can't see up there. Oh, it is an RCA replacement CRT because there was a tag here. The tag recommends RCA picture tubes. This is the warranty tag. That serial number on that tube. So it did come up and test good and it is a replacement. And that is the halo light control in the middle of the screen. I, like I say, I have no idea uh, how these operate. But uh, again, this one couldn't, didn't, uh, this one didn't stay out in the, out in the garage. It came inside, so that's it from one house to another. That's the Sylvania model 176M. And uh, I may leave the back off and power it up maybe in a few days, but uh, we'll see. I promise not to get into any more cans of worms until other projects are complete. I just wanted to get one look at this uh, high voltage compartment without taking the the uh, cage off and uh, I'm wondering if this is one of those voltage doubler type supplies. 
this is not a very good scan but uh, the 6BQ6 output uh, the oscillator 12AU7 and the 12AX7 is the AGC keying or something it said but there's a look at the uh, flyback and yoke section two 1B3s